A world line doesn't have to pass through two events in a straight path through space-time. It can take a curved path. What does that mean for the distance traveled through space-time? To understand that, let's first look at a simpler situation involving travel through space without time. If we travel through space and keep track of our distance as we move, we know that a straight line between two points would be the shortest path. If we deviated from the straight path along a curve, clearly the curved path would be longer. Strangely, this is not the case for space-time. We can carry a wristwatch as we traverse the world line to keep track of the proper time, which is the actual length of the world line through space-time. An observer in a laboratory watches your movement and measures points along your path. Recall that the space-time interval is what we use to measure length in space-time. Alternatively, from the perspective of the traveler, they encounter events at their location, so their measure of the space-time interval is just the elapsed time between the events. The wristwatch time adds up the times we experience on the space-time path. The traveler can take a curved path between points O and B, which will result in a total proper time measurement on their wristwatch. The laboratory observer can measure segments of their travel along the curved path and calculate the interval distances for each segment. The sum of those calculated values will add up to the wristwatch time in complete agreement. But now let's take an alternative path between O and B, a straight path between the events. In this case, the interval calculations of the path don't include a space separation component. It's zero. So the total space-time interval is larger than the curved path. This is verified by the traveler who carries the wristwatch along that straight line path. Both agree the world line in a straight path in Lorenz geometry is longer than a curved path. A straight path also happens to be the natural path that a free particle would take to go from one event to another. So the natural free motion of objects is to travel along the path of maximal aging, which is called the principle of maximal aging. But why does the curved path look longer on a space-time diagram if it's actually shorter in space-time? It's because the diagram is an illusion. We can't properly represent space-time lengths in Lorentz geometry on a flat piece of paper. 